Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable tic-tac-toe personalized burlap bags and using dollar store hearts for the game pieces. Hey guys, so to create these really cute Valentine's Day tic-tac-toe games, I'm going to start in design space and I'm going to go to the left here and click on shapes and I'm going to uh, click on a square. And the reason for this is because this is going to be my template so I know what size or how big um, my area is going to be for my tic-tac-toe part to fit into it. But another thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to click on this other tab on Amazon. I purchased these bags from Amazon. They came out to 44 cents each. There's 25 of them. But the reason I'm showing you this is because I know the size. It's a 5.3 by 5.7 inches. But because it has a drawstring at the top and a little bit of a line at the bottom, you know you've got to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do go back in Design Space and I'm going to change my box to a smaller size. So it's almost the size that I want, but I want it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go up here to unlock it and I'm actually going to do just a 3 by 3. Then I know this is the size of my bag that I'm going to be using. So to get started, I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to type in tic-tac-toe SVG and I'll show you why. So I'm going to go to the images and here are all the images that I can use. You have to look for ones that come from Pinterest. Um, you don't want any from Etsy like this or any of them that you um, are required to purchase. Like this one you would have to purchase. Um, so I'm looking for ones like this with the um, already designed space background in it, if that makes sense. The checkerboard color. So I know that this one is free and I'm able to use this one. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to save image as. And I'm going to go up to my desktop and I'm not even going to bother changing the name because I know it's in my desktop. So I'm going to click save. I'll go back in design space. I'll go to upload. And then I'll upload images. I'll browse. And then I'll find it here. And there it is ready. So I need the rest of the checkerboard in here. So I'm going to click on simple and continue. And then I just want to fill in the white spots and have that blue and white checkerboard behind it. So once you've got all that, you push continue and then here is your image. And then you can click on the save and cut image and then save it. And then it will save it to design space for you so you'll have it forever. So I'm going to click on that one, insert image, and then here it is. So it just happens to be the same size. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can do it this way or you can go in and um, write or create the lines yourself if you want. Um, you can go into Google and search just a line SVG and it will bring them up. So you just click on images and then here are all the lines that you can use. Again you have to watch out that it doesn't say Etsy on it. I mostly go towards Pinterest because um, those are free. You don't want anything with watermarks on it. So you would just do the same thing. If you like this you would right click, save it, and put it into your design space. Um, I already have one in here so I would just go into it, click on it, and then you can change it around and um, mess around with it. But it's just this is just a much quicker way to do it. So I'm going to X out of that. So again, this box is just a template. It's, you don't need that for anything. I'm just going to go, I know that's the size of my bag that I'm going to be working with. So if you just want to do a tic-tac-toe with no design or name or words on it, you can leave it the way it is. But I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit because I want to put tic-tac-toe at the top. So I'm going to click on the hashtag image and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to take this little two arrows here and drag it to make it just a little bit smaller. And then I will go to the text box over here and I will just write tic-tac-toe. And there it is. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller as well. And then I will put it in the box. And I'll resize it in a minute, but first thing I want to do is change the font. So I'm going to have it while it's selected. I'm going to go to the fonts up here, and I'm going to go to System. And the reason I'm going to System is because these are all the downloaded fonts that I have, or the free fonts that Cricut gives you. If you go to All and you don't have the monthly or the yearly subscription, you will be paying for these fonts. So I don't want to pay $4.99. I've seen some for $6.99. Oh, here, yeah, $6.99 for, uh, for a font. 
So I'm going to go to System, and if you haven't done this already, you can go to dafont.com and you can download free fonts there. Um, I did a video tutorial on this a couple videos back if you're interested in seeing it. I will leave a link below for that. But one thing with dafont.com is although it's free, if you're going to be using any of their fonts and selling the items with the font on it you need to purchase the commercial license for it go into dafont.com and then you'll see where you can purchase that so um, I will show you quickly um, how to change this so I had one in mind that I don't remember what it was called but it had cute little hearts on it this one chasing hearts I downloaded this one from dafont and I thought it was so cute because if you see it the little eye has a heart on it so I thought that'd be perfect for um, Valentine's Day so again I'm just using the box for a template so I'm just gonna make this guy a little bit bigger so it's easier for kids to play on it but I'm gonna unlock it and just work with it that way and make it a little bit wider and it gives just a little bit more space for the hearts to go on it so that looks pretty good and again it's not going to be exact um, because your bag might be a little bit different um, but I like how it looks it gives it a nice playing area for the kids to play with so I'm going to move the box and I'm not going to delete it yet because I'm going to use it for another part so I'm just going to go to shapes and I'm actually I'm going to go to uh, text and I'm going to write an X and then I'm going to go back to text and write an O and these are going to be um, for the little hearts that I purchased at the dollar store that it goes on so they can play the game. So I'm going to need five of them each. But before I do anything else, I'm going to attach, or actually I'm going to select both of these, uh, the words and the hashtag, and I'm going to go to align and center it. And that will center it for me. So, so once it's both selected already, I'm going to go ahead and click weld. And this whole thing is already done. I have nothing else to do with this. So going back to here, um, I want to change. When you cut this out, this is going to be um, this part is going to be cut with HTV, and your X's and O's will be just cut with regular vinyl. So I'm going to actually change the color of these X's and O's. Although everything is going to cut out white, um, this the X's and O's are going to be uh, regular vinyl. So if I change this to white and this to white, it will cut everything out on one um, piece of vinyl. And I don't want that because again this is just gonna be regular vinyl and this is gonna be HTV so I'm gonna change both of these really quick to white so that when it cuts out it knows to cut out the separate so I'm gonna select both of these again and then I'm gonna go up here to the duplicate button and I'm gonna hit it four times so that gives me five pieces so I have five X's and five O's so I'm finished with this one, so I'm going to move this one over so that's one whole piece that I don't have, that I am finished with. But if you wanted to go again and do it another time, you would just go in to upload, find your hashtag, and put it right in. So again, I'm working with my template so I know how big it's going to be. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit, and I'm going to change it up. I'm going to actually put a name on the front of this one, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm actually going to unlock it, and I'll make it a little bit wider. But then I also want to shrink it down a little bit, so I'm going to shrink it, keeping it a little bit wide. And then I'm going to click out, and then I'm going to click on text. Then I'm just going to put a name in. I'm going to do my daughter Emma's best friend's name, Olivia, and then she can give it to her as a present. Again, I'm just going to take it and squeeze it down a little bit so it can fit a little bit better. And I'm going to unlock it so I can make it a little bit wider. Just You can put on here whatever you want. You can put a little heart on the back of it, or you can put just the name on the front, and then the tic-tac-toe on the back. You have a little bit of play up here yet because of the drawstring, so you've got you... Um, just you're just using the uh, square behind it for the template so um, again I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to go to align and center it and that's just going to put it in the center for me so I know exactly how it's going to look 
So for the back of this one, I think I'm gonna put um, a little heart behind it. So I'm gonna click the just the box and move that because these two are finished already. And I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna click on a heart. And then I can just put a heart on the back of it, but I'm gonna shrink it a little bit. And then maybe I'll put from Emma so she can give it to her as a little present. Again, just working with the template, I'll go into the text box and I'll type in from Emma. And again, it's giving me the Chasing Hearts font because that's the last one that I had used. If you want to change it, you can definitely change it. So I'll make this just a little bit smaller. And then again, I will select all three and then go to a line and then center it. And then um, I want the heart to cut out a different color. So I'm going to click on just the heart part and I'm going to change it to a pink. So everything else is going to cut out white except for the heart. Even though these are black, I'm going to put my um, white vinyl on instead of the black. So um, I'm going to need another set of these. So I'm going to select all of these and it's going to select five of them and I'm just going to duplicate it. So then I know I have five for this one and also five for this one. So once that comes up, here they are, they're hiding on me. I'm like, where did it go? So um, each one of these have one behind it. So it'll cut out those. So I'm going to go to, actually, I'm not sure if I selected this or not. Let's see. You want to make sure that you attach this. Otherwise, you're going to have the name and the hashtag cut out separately. So I'm going to go ahead and weld this together so it'll cut out as one whole piece. And this I'm not worried about because it's going to cut out this white and then the heart's going to be pink. So before you go to make it, you want to get rid of your template. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to X out of that. So then it doesn't cut that piece out. So I'm going to go to make it and then I will show you how it looks. So here's all my X's and O's, and those are fine, and that will cut out in white. And then here is my hashtags and my names. But remember that you're going to be cutting these out with HTV. So I'm going to move them over just a little bit. And the reason I said remember that is because anytime you use HTV, you want to reverse it or mirror it. So I'm going to click on the mirror button, and then it will reverse it for me. And then here is just the heart that's going to be cutting out. So I'm going to be doing this white on regular vinyl, uh, the Oracle 651, and then I will switch it to, I want this to be white again, but even though it's showing black, I know I'm going to be doing white. So I'm going to leave it on this, but I'm going to cut it out in white, and then I'm going to be using the pink heart on HTV as well. So I'm going to just click continue. And then I know that when I use my HTV, I'm going to be wanting to use the heat transfer um, non Cricut. I don't use Cricut brand anymore. Um, I will leave the link below to what I use, but I really like it. So I'm going to click on the heat transfer iron. So I know I already mirrored my image, and I'm going to be working with this one. So I'm going to click on this one, knowing that I need to use white and it's the heat transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set my mat up. I'm going to throw it through the Cricut, I will weed it out, and I will show you the next step. Here are my bags that I purchased from Amazon. They are made from burlap and have a nice drawstring on them to keep the small plain pieces inside. And here are the vinyl cutouts I created to press on the bags. For the little play pieces, I'm just using some small pink and red plastic hearts that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I will use my X's and O's that I cut out and use some transfer tape to put on each letter one at a time and rub them onto each of the hearts. My heat press and I have it set for 325 for 24 seconds. It's recommended to do it between 305 and 325 degrees for 20 to 25 seconds. So that's what I have mine set on. And unfortunately my camera was not taping me when I did this first one. So I'm gonna show you the back part of it. I'm just gonna put it on uh, the heart on the back of this and then my daughter's name as well. So here's the heart that I had cut out. And I'm just gonna put that on the center. And then I also have this cut out where it says from Emma. So I'm gonna put that on here as well and do it as best as I can in the center part. And then one thing, since it does have drawstrings on it, I'm actually gonna flip it upside down and press it this way because I don't wanna get the drawstrings on it. 
So you gotta work with it to make it far down enough that you can still press it without getting those drawstrings in there. And once you have it where you want it, you wanna place your protective covering over it. And if you don't have this, you can use parchment paper, but I have this, I ordered a few of these off of Amazon. So I'm just gonna press it. So once it's done baking, you just lift it up, take your paper off, and then some of your vinyl, your HTV might be cool pull, but mine is just, when it's done, you pull it off. So I'm gonna pull it off, slowly and gently. This from Emma has a heart on it. And then to the front part, it says Olivia on it. And then I will just put in the pieces that I had in here and then I will show you the finished product. But I think this turned out so cute. I think any kid would love to have it. I think this would be a great idea for handing out for uh, Valentine's at school even, depending on how many kids you have in the class. But it's just a fun little project. But I will show you the end product with everything in it um, all together is the finished product. I really love how these turned out. I think one difference that I would do is definitely make your um, plain part bigger. Um, I was a little bit off with my um, dimensions. I did three by three, so I would definitely do these much bigger, but I think that they turned out amazing. I love how they look. I love how the little hearts turned out with the X's and the O's. Um, you can fill them up very easily. Um, this one has something on the back, the little heart and to and from. I think that's a really awesome little gift that you can give anybody. You can just fill them up with the game pieces, but it's so easy and fun to make. And I know that my kids will really enjoy these and I think uh, whoever they give it to. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment below if you have any questions.